won't be able to go back to school. It's sad because Babes isn't here. He's away in a whole nother country. Um Sarah here with the kids. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlogs. We just came back from getting vaccines. I say we as if I did anything, but it was the kids. They went and got their vaccines uh, because we had to do that right before school started. And now we're actually stopping at a local grocery store. We're going to go grab some breakfast things because we decided at the very last minute that we wanted to do um, kind of like a brunch style breakfast and we want to have a variety of things. We know our eggs are running low at home. <laughs> Um, I haven't been eating eggs as much, so we need to get some eggs, I think, right? Yeah. We need hash browns. I've been feeling for hash browns, so we're going to get that. Beans is what they said. And what else did you say? Do, I think we still... Do we need to get bread? We have English muffins. Oh, we have English, yeah, muffins. English muffins. And we have bologna. Mm. Yeah. I might look for turkey bacon. I've been wanting to try turkey bacon for a while, so we're going to see mm. if I can find that. And I'm vlogging on my phone. Sorry, I didn't bring my camera. So when I get home, I'll show you guys the things that we got. But I'm going to go in the grocery store. I might film a little bit while we're in here. We'll see. But that's what we're up to right now. We forgot something. Oh, we forget. I don't get it. The cake. We were going to get cake. Oh, yeah. I sort of gave up on it. I noticed. I'm like, you know, it's okay. No cake. <laughs> less sugar was running low, and I thought, let's just go. No, we should have gone. You guys want to run to go grab it? Yeah. Where? Where? Oh my gosh, we just forgot something so, well, it's not that important, but we said we were going to get it. Anyways, hi guys. I think I started a vlog earlier this morning because I, the girls had to go for their vaccines. How was it? It was pretty good. I got to have them both in my left arm, so that's awesome. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. This rabbit is just acting wild right now, and Zoe's not helping. Her, her rabbit is just, I guess he's chewing on stuff and she keeps screaming at like She just keeps screaming in the background to try to tell him to stop. I can't. Um, yeah, so these girls had to get their vaccine. School's about to start. And I don't think I told you all this, but the school... The sc oh my gosh. I forgot. The school sent me a notice that the girls' vaccines were not up to date. And which they were. The reality is... I got a note from my family doctor. Well, my family doctor informed me that these records get passed over to like public health and stuff like that. So that was what I understood. So long story short, they got their vaccines and all that stuff and um, they got one through the school. This is another story. The school didn't inform me that they, 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 I knew they needed to get a second dose, but the school didn't inform me that they weren't going to be the one to administer the second dose. I was like, what? But by the time I realized that, okay, we need to do the second dose and do you want a muffin, Zaza, or do you want chips? You want chips? Okay. Okay. So I to, sorry guys, I had to come and sit down and talk to you because as you can see, it is like, as you can see, it's like chaos. We just got back from the grocery store and so the little kiddos are hungry. I did stop and I bought them a smoothie while we were out there and so they had that because we had to run out so fast this morning it was just appointment was pretty early but it took some time when we got there we had to end up waiting a bit and all that so anyway back to what i was saying the school didn't inform me that the kids weren't going to get get the second dose of the vaccine at school they just sent a vaccine information card at home saying that they need to come back in two months so me being a mom i checked everything i waited for two months i put it in my phone i sent it back i was like okay guys it's two months go back to the office where they told me that they were supposed to go and do it and i'm like okay go and get it done they went there on their lunch break they're told oh no you don't do it here you have to go elsewhere i'm like what in the world so yeah that's what we ended up doing now basically um the end of august technically it's not quite the end of august but it is it's like august 22nd by the time you guys are seeing this and the funny thing is they had sent a, a information slip home with one of my children saying that they won't be able to go back to school if they don't um if they don't get these things done or if they don't get the records or something don't show that they've been vaccinated and all this stuff so 
yeah it's been kind of um crazy it's so silly too because i've done the same thing for both for all my kids so i've done nothing different yet for one of them all the records are on file um meaning that the both my doctor and public health has the records of all their vaccination history and stuff like that meanwhile for the other one it's not there <laughs> i'm just like what in the world i don't even know how this stuff is I, I don't even know why it happens like this so anyways guys that doesn't even make any sense but yeah we're back home now so we stopped at the grocery store and we went to go pick up a couple of things because we had this grand idea to make ourselves brunch so one got a needle in one arm and one got the other one got vaccinated in one arm and one got the other in they got it in both so <laughs> i'm just like you know what it's gonna be kind of a slow day i don't know to some degree because the i think their arms ache a little bit so I was like, you know what, let's just kind of do a fun breakfast. So we did buy some ingredients and we're going to make brunch. You guys are going to come along and make the brunch with us. We're going to do something very low key. put in the sweet potatoes in the oven and then my brain was going a little bit I kept saying oh, but this don't make no sense like this one's one's gonna cook extremely faster than the other the other is gonna take a long time and I knew that but as I was doing it, I'm like it's not making any sense I and then then my genius daughter right here out of the blue just comes out with the idea that mom we have other sweet potatoes over there how about you find one that's the same size swap I was put in my place by my child <laughs> and it makes so much <laughs> makes so much sense so unleash any stress onto this <laughs> you take that right take that <laughs> Dancing, come here. <laughs> <laughs> you can say you don't know how to dance. Come so I got Charlotte over here. Charlotte's over here helping to prep the sweet potato for the air fryer. Yeah, yeah. You guys, and I just unboxed my new air fryer. It is so cute. I'm so in love. Okay, so I go like that to open it. I was basically kind of fiddling around trying to figure out how everything works. Press this button to remove the tray when it cools down for washing. Okay, very nice. I'm so silly. I was looking for where the buttons were and then I realized that this is what this is. It is just like a digital display. It looks like this. How cool. So my phone just alerted me that I have a, an appointment. Um, I said, I have an appointment for Gabrielle at 3.30, which is in the next two hours for her to get her braces tightened. And my phone just alerted me. So I'm setting the timer for an extra 30 minutes to remind me 30 minutes beforehand because I know that I'm still capable of forgetting, even though it's, I know it's coming up in the next two hours, it could slip my mind and we end up forgetting. what you just said to your mama she just asked me she's like I'm just gonna put some pepper on it you want anything else on it if you know me well you know that I do but, okay. do you like that on yours yeah why not Vegetable. okay good okay yeah I like okay. even on my eggs I like to put some seasoning I like to put a little bit of um it doesn't even have to be this particular one I have another one that's more refined the one with the lemon there's okay. garlic and Herbs. Oh, okay, yeah. Herb. yeah. We have this one that we like to put on there. Just a little bit more, right? right? Let's yeah. see. Mommy smelling the pepper. <laughs> Smell that one. I think you probably like that one. Now it smells really good. Probably that one without. I don't think it's the garlic one that I put on. It's that one. So. Okay. I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top. 
We're talking about pour, accidentally pouring too much pepper on our eggs. All of us have done that. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you've done that. And what do you do if you do? Do you just eat? Do you just leave it on and eat it? Or do no, you scoop I, I it up? You I scoop it up. I, I think those are the times when I usually try to scramble it and mix it in. Oh yeah? I'm like, no. Do you add extra eggs? Not to I, want it like, I don't want it scrambled, so I won't do that. Yeah. Yeah, so I just take it off. Uh, um, yeah. Something's happening here. Help! Help! Help. <laughs> it's a non-stick pan that you're using. Unfortunately, we should get a bigger frying pan, I think. This one is just... It, it's fine. It's fine? It's fine. Okay. Oh, bologna is busting up a oh, storm here. Oh, flipping fork. <laughs> yeah. He tried right. to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear what she said? Yeah. <laughs> you're all saying it again for you, Gabriel, but you know, the way you say it, Mom's got her flipping fork. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not that kid. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. Gabriel said Mom's got her flipping fork. But obviously, <laughs> he's talking about my fork to flip the bologna, but it was so funny. So I did not originally plan on making plantains, but I actually forgot that I had a bunch of plantains needing to be fried. You will see it's kind they're kind of on the softer side as I um, fry them down, <laughs> but they were really good. Everyone really enjoyed them. I'm glad I actually got them out of the way. So they didn't go bad because I feel terrible having to waste food, but the kids absolutely love it. And it was really a nice addition to our what do you call these kind of breakfasts? I think it's called like Br British breakfast or something like that because it's like fried bologna. It's like almost like a fry, fried type breakfast. Fried hash browns, fried bologna, fried eggs. Yeah, l leave a comment down below and let me know if that's what it is. And we also had some hot chocolate. So we went all out on this one. Good. So we're making these wedge fries and then we're actually about to soak them in a pot for dinner because we want to make sweet potato fries inside the inside the air fryer. We're going to be soaking these in water to get the excess starch off. We're going to soak them for a couple hours and then we will pat them dry and put them inside the air fryer. On track and field, she okay. wants to run. <laughs> okay guys, so we're just submerging these sweet potato in the water. Plop, they're all going in the swimming pool. Swimming buddies. <laughs> <laughs> pool buddies. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Okay, these kids are dressing up oh, with the styrofoam. <laughs> Zeppy, what look what animal are you? You're a lion? With Zoe? Zoe, are you a lion too? Maybe I did it. Right. Maybe I should be a square one. I did a circle one. Circle? Okay, here's your circle. Girl, are you trying to switch on him? Circle. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> guys, so we've been eating. We actually haven't picked up the camera. Okay. How's everything, guys? Oh, it's so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> no, we forgot to show you everything together, but we had bologna. We had hash browns, peppered eggs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, beans. Oh, and, and English muffin. And we had a whole thing of plantain, which we've consumed. Mm -hmm. English muffins, English muffins, and hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Okay, is that, is that okay? Anyways, guys, so we're done eating. We're done eating real quick. We have to run out and leave the house. I'm a little bit of a mess. Like, our, we're gonna, because Gabrielle actually has to go to get her braces tightened right now. So we're gonna run and do that. And then we're gonna come back and chill. Because we were in the kitchen and doing cooking and doing, you know, just making all this food. Yeah, it was really nice to just have just a little cute little moment with the girls. It was, you know, just having brunch, mother daughter daughter style brunch that we made ourselves. And as much as it was, it's sad because Babe isn't here. He's away in a whole nother country, um, working and 
you know, stuff like that we usually do with him. But I mean, yeah, you still have to eat without your partner or without your husband, without your dad. You still have to eat. So um, I'm really glad that we got that done. It was so impromptu, like I said, but that is kind of how we are. Every now and again, you just got to keep it, you know, alive. <laughs> Also, I forgot to show you guys the sweet potato. They are very, very much done. So we're gonna be having that for supper. Yeah, and now we're gonna run. I'd like to clean up my house before I go. I, I'm that person, I love to clean up while I'm doing dish, well, uh, after eating, after preparing meals, but sometimes you just gotta run. The sweet potatoes are busy soaking and they're gonna soak for a little bit and then later we'll dry them off, put them in the air fryer. So. <laughs> Wow. And this is where you die. What's that? What do you do there? And that is a kind of sports. A what? And that is a kind of sports. A kind of sport? And that is a bug. 